Hi, it's Dia. Since I'm doing a Hero or Guanghui giveaway, I decided I was going to use the 168 set of the Hero pencils in my Coloring Dreams coloring book. And I was going to show you how to do this pansy and show you a really cool trick with an eraser. Now, I know that not everybody has 168 pencils to use. Um, and I wanted to show you how to get really neat results with only a couple of pencils. So the first thing I'm doing in a speeded up way right here is to cover the entire surface of the back of this pansy with white. Some of the pansies are so vibrant. I did a video a couple of days ago and the pansies were vibrant and with so many colors. Now this one, it's got white and almost a little lilac. Now what if you don't have that lilac color in your set? So you put the white down first and then this is a pretty bright pencil. And I'll show you later on what I, what I mean. I, I have an example of what the white does to the actual pencil color if you put it down first. And it also allows you to erase it much easier. And I'll give you an example of that later too. So all I'm doing here is I'm gonna put the, this, this pencil, which looks very muted and very lilac, but is actually a pretty bright purple pencil over the top of the white around the edges, around the edges of actually all the leaves, I should say petals of this pansy. So I'm gonna speed it up because I'm basically doing the exact same thing on each petal. Nothing fancy at this point at all. I'm just laying down the color. And I'm not even being that neat because I'm gonna do the detail work later. You might hear some music or interesting noises in the background. There's a recording session going on downstairs in the lower level studio. Oh, I forgot to tell you the color of this pencil. Hold on. This color is number 57, but you can use any set that you have. This will work with oil pencils. This will work with wax pencils. So this one happens to be 57, but like I said, choose any kind of purple you want as long as you put it over that white first. This is the lightest gray in the set. It's number 48. And I'm just going over some areas that I thought might be a little in the shadow. The top leaves might be leaning forward a tiny bit and it might give indications of shadows there. You're not gonna get a huge impact with these lighter colors because of the white that you put down first. So um, that's kind of important to know. For any of you that haven't signed up for my giveaway yet for the 168 set of these Guanghui or Hero pencils. Um, I will put the link below and I hope you subscribe to me because I do do giveaways and I, and I do um, lots of coloring and art tutorials and how to's. I would love to have you. So what I'm doing with this pencil at this point is just giving slight indications of where I think the shadows would be. I put the shadows toward the center of the petals because they have a tendency to go down toward the center of the stem. So that would be recessed a bit, so you put a little bit of an indication of a shadow. Now I went one shade darker in the grays, which is 108. And I'm adding slightly darker areas of shadows also, wherever I think they would be necessary. 
since the the majority of the petals are white I'm being a bit careful and I don't want to overwhelm the picture although you'll see later on um, I'm going to adjust it a bit also with an eraser Now I'm taking a dark teal green for the center, which is number 53. And number 123 and three for the area on the bottom petal right around that little center spot. And then right below that, I use the bright sunshiny yellow and bring that down a tiny bit into the bottom petals but not too much because like I said before the majority of these uh, petals of this flower are white with very subtle indications of lilac around the edges. I took the 163 which is more of a neon orange and blend it a little bit it didn't really show up that much. Now I'm taking number 45 and going over the purple that I had already used just for some detail and some depth, but it didn't really show up that much because of the white pencil. And I probably should have left it out because the point of the video to begin with was to not use too many pencils. So it kind of worked out in my favor. And I think I always go back and grab that kind of color, those fuchsia, violety kind of colors because they are my favorites. I'm taking that same gray again, and I'm going over things a bit more. I like to choose the leaves that I think are gonna be in the foreground some more. It's, it's very subtle because it is a flower and they're right next to one another. But pick the leaves that you think are gonna be in front and then you can put the shadows around the edges behind it, and it does make them seem like they stand out more. I love that effect. Take your time, and I still take my time. I've been doing this forever, but I go light first. It's much easier to correct something that's light versus something that's dark, although this does have white as a base underneath it, and it makes for much easier erasing. And you'll see what I'm talking about. This is a mono zero pencil, and it's got this little teeny tiny tip, which I love, and I'm gonna be using it. And if you don't have one of these, which probably most people don't, you can use a regular eraser. And if you don't even have one of those, here's another option. Here's my uh, Vanish eraser. You can see it's well-loved and well-worn. That side is flat. It's not going to really do much. So take the, um, take the end that's sharpest and uh, least blunt and use your details that way. I should say make your details that way. So for the sake of this video, and because I want you all to buy this product and no, nobody's telling me to buy it, nobody gave that to me or paid me to say that, you can go in and put these little fine details. Now 
though it's very subtle because the colors in this flower are, are, are very subtle, but you can see what's happening. And it's really not leaving any kind of leftover marks because of the white pencil. If you put it on just regular white, of course you could erase it to a point, but so much of the pigment would have gotten into the tooth of the paper that you can't erase that. It's almost like a stain. So this way you can, you can create detail and it's much easier than having to have gone and created each one of those little areas that you had to avoid because they were gonna be white. Now, I just wanna show you here really, really quickly the difference between having the white down first and then erasing and not using it. So I'm just taking the white pencil and making a little square. And then I'm going over it with a relatively dark pencil on purpose because you, you could tell, but it wasn't as dark in the pansy. This is number 116. And although I'm not being super neat, I am pushing very hard. Now you can see already I'm taking the exact same pencil and drawing another rectangle right next to it. You can see it's brighter and darker. I tried to put approximately the same amount of strokes and pigment on, on the page. Now first I'm going to show you with the Tombow Mono Zero. I rubbed back and forth about 10, 10 times and you can see that it took off most of that. Now when I do it over here, I'm going to do it about 25 times. I wanted to do it at least twice the amount. See, you, you can't remove all of, all of that pigment. Now here's a regular eraser with a relatively sharp edge. Takes it off twice the amount of times, and I'm pushing hard. You can see by the vibrations in the video. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then you can take the sharp point here. I did it about 10 times. And just so you know that I'm pushing hard, you can see how hard I was pushing because the area that I was erasing was wider. So that's, that's why I put the white down first. It's a really interesting effect. And uh, even with two times the work and two times the erasing, it doesn't give the same effect. So, Back to our pansy. Now I'm taking number 116 and I'm adding some of those pretty details that would be on the surface of, of the petals. I went over some of the yellow and some of the indications that were already on the flower and then I expanded them also, spread them out a little bit made a, a few more veins. Now I'm going back in with that original pencil, number 57, and I'm kind of going around the areas that I erased to make them a little more apparent. You don't even have to do it. I have a tendency to like to fuss with my pictures at the end, and I, I like this part of it. It's fun, it's relaxing, and I already have more of an idea of what the end result is gonna look like, so I feel more relaxed about the picture. Yep, going in and doing a little more fussing with those little purpley details. Now I accidentally found this trick with this set and it's um, it's the neon yellow color. So 
when you put the neon yellow color down first and then go over it lightly with another color, it shows right through. So it, it lends itself to beautiful effects. The neon color in the Heroes is 162, and the first green that I went over it with is number six. The second one is number 42, and the third one is 114. Now I did go back and forth and share some of the colors just to add a little bit of dimension. That's the 114. And I was a little more careful with this one because it was pigmented, but that, but that neon show, showed right through. No worries. Then I added some 53, which is a nice teal color, on the leaves and next to the pansy because the leaves to me seem like they would be in the background, so I wanted to indicate shadow. And you can see when I do that, the pansy stands out more also. And when I eventually do this whole picture, I will do the background darker than any of the flowers, so that'll even make it stand more in the forefront. Because once again, dark recedes and light brings forward. You can use lighter greens, you can use darker greens. You, you do not have to follow what I'm, what I'm doing, meaning color-wise color at all. You can go around the outside of these flowers or this flower with pink or red or any color you like. That eraser result will do the exact, that eraser trick will give exactly the same results. I like to add more than just green to leaves. And although these aren't exactly realistic and perfect, I like stylized also. So I took number 123, which is, I would say, a, almost like a, a subtle, like a, like a warm, warm, orangey pumpkin color and I added some details right on the ends of of the leaves maybe they maybe they're starting to turn the tiniest bit it just adds for a little bit more um, interesting touches I'm almost done here and I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of the number 48 and add some more details and uh, I just wanted to say, I hope you subscribe to me. Just click the button below. And I hope you also join, join in for the 168 Hero Guanghui Pencil Giveaway. And it also includes one of my coloring books of your choice. And also 10 people will win um, individual pages of my coloring books from my Etsy store of your choice. So subscribe below. And I also wanted to say thank you so much for being here and thank you for joining me. I love doing this and it means the world. Thank you, bye.